Hey everyone, so I'm back with another tutorial, this time on how to create an order bot in Dialogflow. It's not something new, of course, but uh, I found that a lot of the order bot examples out there just uh, apply a very simple slot filling approach, often using the pizza example. And then you can, uh, you have one intent where you can uh, order your pizza and that's it. So. I wanted to make an order board that is a bit more complex and covers a couple more edge cases. So that is closer to something that you can actually use and deploy to your business. I still am using the pizza example here because it's such a classic. Uh, and it's also a nice example because it's a product that you can configure, so to speak, in several, um, yeah, several dimensions. So you have the different sizes, the different pizza types. So I'm still using this, but then the bot is going to be a bit more flexible and conversational. So it's going to be a series of short tutorials because it's going to include several steps. Um, and uh, yeah, but before we get started building, I'm just going to give you a short demo on what it actually can do. So what if I just find this uh, messenger bot and I don't actually know what exactly I can order. So I say, do you have these pizza type? Uh, and then it says, no, sadly, I don't have this. Um, so then, well, what pizza types do you have? And then the uh, knowledge base uh, FAQ feature kicks in that tells me, okay, I have these pizza types. Uh, and then I say, I'd like one, yeah, let's say one pizza pepperoni um large uh yeah and also i would like um seven pizza seven pizza margarita because i'm having a pizza party so i've got lots of people coming over and then but i realized okay maybe seven pizza large is a bit uh yeah too much so let's change it uh, uh to medium instead so I can also amend my orders um, at least while I'm in the slot filling stage so while people still make up their mind they can change uh, yep and this is all good now and then I have a shopping basket feature which um, allows me to actually order several products uh, and put them in my basket um, well, it's a virtual basket. You don't see any basket, but you can ask, okay, what do I have so far? And then it's listing me, okay, this is it. And then finally, once you're happy with your order, you can say um, finish and then the, the order is finished and we'll actually go and save the order data to the Firestore database. So yeah, that's it for the little introduction. I will see you in the next video and we'll get started building.